Greetings and salutations, loyal viewers of this channel. My name is Sean, and today we got to talk about an alleged social media influencer from Dubai having his home broken into because he posted his location on Instagram.com forward slash whatever this guy's social media handle actually is. It's a crazy story. There's violence. There's drama. There's a stolen Rolex. You're going to want to hear all of it. But before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to everybody. You signed up over on actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. I will give me the money. Give you give me the money. Okay. Thank you to the podcast listeners, Spotify, Apple, and Google's podcasting platform. Another home invasion, this time in the Hollywood Hills, involving a social media influencer. Thousands of dollars of property stolen. So as you can see right there, you have three suspects wearing masks, caught on surveillance video, fleeing this California home. And they're doing this post a robbery. You can also see in the local news segment that I'm using that they appear to have smashed the glass in order to enter this place. And allegedly, there's a social media influencer in there, and he was the target of this robbery, possibly due to the fact that he posted his location on Instagram.com. Now, we don't really get where he is famous from or where he's an influencer on or anything like that just from Dubai, and I've looked into this, I've looked into the articles, I've tried to figure out where it is, he's possibly an Instagrammer, because that's where apparently his Instagram story revealed his location, but overall, this is quite a terrifying situation, because not only did they break into this occupied dwelling, but apparently they were armed with firearms, and they pistol whipped one of the residents of the home. And a vict victim was pistol whipped in that attack. So as you can see, this person right here has some markings on their nose. This appears to be related to the pistol whipping that the media is reporting. I'm not exactly sure why this person individually was pistol whipped when there were three people allegedly in the home at the time of this crime. But whatever, I'm just harping a little bit too much on the details. It's actually quite a horrifying situation. And unlike other videos where I talk about crime and I talk about the committers of the crime and ways that we can hold them to better account in our society, I want to talk about this from a social media so-called influencer's perspective. Victims were visiting from out of town, as you mentioned, and they say they believe those suspects followed them to a home in the Hollywood Hills after first seeing their videos posted on Instagram tonight. While those victims' possessions and passports may be gone, they say they're just grateful to have walked away with their lives. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Videos posted to Instagram just hours before a home invasion and armed robbery show Ishmael Khan enjoying his Hollywood Hills home that he was visiting while in town from Dubai. So what we're seeing right now is the post that allegedly gave away the location that the robbers might have seen that led them to commit this robbery at this residence knowing that this person would be here. He had that valuable Rolex. Messed up. But. Hours later, this Rolex would be stolen, taken by two masked men seen here on security camera footage. And this is where I get into the first pro tip from me to you, from all of the people who exist on the internet.com. And by the way, this is not only applicable if you have a social media following, but it's applicable to anybody who posts stuff publicly on the internet. Whenever you're at a location and you decide to take a picture, a Snapchat, an Instagram video, or whatever, and you have the option to tag your location, it is fine if you do that, but after you have already left that location. Ishmael was filming his last night in California, his last night in the Hollywood Hills. Had he waited to post this until the day after, he would not have been able to be robbed in the manner that he was robbed in this particular video. Now look, ultimately the three criminals, the two burglars who were armed and the getaway driver are responsible for their actions. They should be held to account for those actions. And this is in no way, shape or form to be interpreted as victim blaming. But what we can do when we look at cases where people are victimized, we can look at ways to better protect ourselves going forward. And you don't have to have a large platform for people to be stalking your social media, especially if you like to flash wealth or anything like that. I believe the kids call it flexing because that ultimately makes you vulnerable to these kinds of situations. So these guys supposedly use this post to figure out where he was to figure out that he had money and they initiated a robbery based on that and considering they were armed this could have easily cost 
Ishmael, or any of the other people in the home their lives because this is a very serious situation. And apparently, this isn't the first social media style break in in and around the Hollywood Hills area that has come up of late. They took my Rolex watch, they took my Louis bag, they took my passport, you know. Easily 20k. Now they did rob this individual and he has every right to be upset about it. I would definitely be upset about it, but fortunately there were no serious injuries as a result of this robbery and we should be thankful for that because certain things definitely cannot be replaced. Also, I'm going to suggest, even though I don't have supporting evidence for this, that if he is from Dubai and he is visiting the United States of America, likely, possibly, I know this might be a bit of a stereotype, this is somebody who comes from wealth, so those luxury goods, while it is disgusting that somebody would come and steal them, can be replaced by this person, but the lives of the people that were in there obviously cannot be replaced. The LAPD says it all happened shortly after 11 o'clock Thursday night at this home on the 8100 block of Mannix Drive in the Hollywood Hills West. Now look, I hate to be that guy, I hate to be the person that's criticizing the local news because their reporting on this makes me capable of doing this video, but maybe, just maybe, if you're doing a story on somebody who's visiting their Hollywood Hills home and he got his home broken into because he posted video of that home on the internet, you probably shouldn't record the home, say that this guy lives there, he's from Dubai, he has a lot of money, give the block that he lives on, and again, provide pictures of the home so that somebody potentially in the audience of this new segment or online can repeat this crime and commit it again against him. This is a domestic problem right now in Los Angeles. People like me can't even survive, can't even breathe without freaking getting followed home, getting attacked in our own houses. Now look, I'm not somebody who promotes envy or jealousy or anything like that when it comes to income or wealth. If you've earned wealth through being a social media influencer or more likely in this scenario, and again, just speculating right here, inherited wealth because your family is in some kind of a business, then that is fine. Your parents are allowed to make money. They're allowed to pass that on to you. You're allowed to make money. That's good. That's wholesome. That's honorable. We ain't loser communists over here. If you want a loser communist take, go somewhere else on the internet.com to find it. This is a domestic problem right now in Los Angeles. People like me can't even survive, can't even breathe without freaking getting followed home, getting attacked in our own houses. That being said, and I know he's upset, so I'm granting a little bit of grace. It's a little bit ridiculous if we were analyzing this in like a debunking kind of way that this guy's saying people like him can't live in Los Angeles when he's actually visiting a secondary property that is not his primary residence because he lives outside of the country in Los Angeles. Overall, you're doing just fine. I do feel bad that you were victimized by these criminals. We should work tirelessly to get these people off the streets. The way that Los Angeles' prosecutor, Gascon, lets people like this off over and over and over again puts everyone in danger, but there is definitely a complete and utter lack of perspective coming from this individual, which I'm not surprised by because he appears to be a Dubai-based influencer with blue hair. Nothing about this is unusual to me so far based on his personality type and the kind of person who becomes an influencer and i don't know what his social media is but he's possibly one of those wealth flexing influencers again he's the one who put the rolex dead in the face of the camera i'm guessing that's something that he does quite frequently so he just needs to pull it back right there. But overall, I grant him all the grace in the world because he was just robbed. It's a traumatic experience. It doesn't matter how much wealth you have. People break into your properties. It's absolutely horrible. And make no mistake about it, you are significantly more likely to have your home broken into if you live in a middle class or working class or poor area of Los Angeles because they're not prosecuting the criminals. I bet you money that if they do catch these individuals, which they might because this guy is getting a little bit of attention on his robbery we're gonna find out that they had a bunch of priors they were let off a million times they might have even stolen the car that they drove up in order to commit this robbery because that's the kind of thing that has become standard operating procedure in major cities and specifically in the city of los angeles this latest crime happened not far from another armed robbery last november those thieves allegedly stole about a million dollars worth of property from a high profile entrepreneur while there is currently no connection in these two cases both victims were pistol whipped. When they came in, we were, I, mean, I was preparing for to fire. I was preparing to fire. I was ready to fire. When I started seeing the major, 
hear multiple voices asking him, like, okay, like, you know, we're all gun. Look, I'm not saying anything about this guy. Again, they came in armed, they pistol whipped somebody, obviously their lives were in danger. But it is funny that he's like, I was ready to fire, I was ready to fight, I was ready to throw down. Then I realized that we were outgunned, meaning that you had no guns, because if you had a gun, you could have fired back at them, taking care of this situation. Because oftentimes what we find with these criminals is that they flee immediately when confronted with a victim that actually has the capability of fighting back. That being said, it is kind of hilarious that he's doing this interview in this style right here, because you have to protect the tough guy image for whatever reason. This is not all right, bro. Investigators believe the suspects broke a side window. Surveillance videos show the two masked robbers exiting the home with merchandise. Outside the home, a waiting getaway car. While the victims weren't seriously injured, they do believe this was a targeted attack. So they found me on Instagram. They found out where I was. They found out where I stood. I don't know who it was. Maybe it was some bad friends, some enemies. Ishmael. Look, the purpose of me doing this video is not to criticize the victims in this story. They were robbed. It's immoral. Stealing property is always immoral. Do not do it. It is an incorrect thing to do. But they're live streaming after the robbery. They didn't learn the key lesson, which is don't reveal your location while you're already there. And he's live streaming that his window is broken and all of this stuff which is just not a smart thing to do. Again, you influences. You want to be Instagram famous people. Think about what you're posting and when you're posting it. And this is applicable not only to people in whatever Instagram sphere this guy is in, but it's also applicable to whatever you're doing online, whether you're a private person or a public person. If you have public social media, this is something that can happen to you. So just really think about what's going on here really try to focus on how you're not protecting your own security because this situation possibly could have been averted with a little more attention to detail with a little more readiness being a little bit more on guard and being cautious about when you post and what you post Khan is now offering a thousand dollars for his passport to be returned no questions asked he's offering a reward for his passport to be returned if you find it return it to the man so that he can get on his way back to Dubai also, I may have not noticed this throughout the whole segment, or maybe it just wasn't there earlier in the segment, but his Instagram is actually right there, and after clicking it and going through it, I realized that he is one of these Instagrammers that likes to flex his wealth. He claims to be a self-made millionaire at age 24. Good for him, but that being said, as somebody who is a wealth-flexing Instagrammer, somebody who is putting all of this money on the screen... I just want to point out that he's got 38,000 followers on Instagram. It's more than me on Instagram, which, by the way, you can fix by going to Instagram.com slash actual justice. But it is not a significant following. My thinking is that he has money from some other source and he just wants to flex that wealth on Instagram for whatever reason. And by the way, I'm not saying anything. I'm not asserting something as a fact. This is just my opinion. But I don't believe that he's a self-made millionaire, and I don't believe that self-made millionaires do things like this where they just post them spending a ton of money. To me, a little, little, little bit confusing. Now, maybe he made his money in crypto. Who knows that these crypto millionaires are who they are, but I'm just saying it's a little bit suspicious. And speaking of suspicious, and granted, this is just going to be me speculating, me throwing out the possibility. I do want to say that there is a chance that this robbery is fake, staged, whatever you want to call it, in order to garner more clout or more influence for this individual. Like I said, he doesn't have that many followers. 38,000 is nothing on Instagram.com. And he weirdly shows the Rolex watch in the video, and that's specifically what got stolen. Also, a firearm was reportedly stolen, so they had a gun, but they didn't use it against the perpetrators. The armed robbers also got away with a gun. But more crucially, in my opinion, the phone wasn't stolen because he streamed after the fact. So these robbers took the Rolex watch, which was specifically highlighted in the video, but not his phone. I'm not saying that this is a 100% chance. It could have been a robbery. It could have been because he posted his location and all that. But I will throw out the possibility that this might be staged for clout. So I do feel bad for him. 
But I'd say there's a possibility that this is just not how it actually went down. Now look, I don't want you going after this guy. It's speculation at this point. Maybe his phone was stolen and that's just not clear in the media reports and he streamed on a different phone. Maybe his phone was on the charge or maybe the criminals got in and out so quickly that they grabbed whatever they actually did want and they didn't think of the phones. Criminals, notoriously stupid people. But I have to suggest the possibility because we've seen worse, unfortunately, from social media influencers. But overall, Los Angeles actually quite dangerous overall los angeles needs to do a better job of prosecuting these criminals they need to do a better job catching these people and you out there in the audience trust me if you're flexing this kind of wealth on the internet.com don't make it public don't do it but if you absolutely want to do it trust me you would be better served posting this after you left the area but hey those are just my thoughts let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, show them by leaving a like. Subscribe for more content. Follow me on my social media. Support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about an alleged influencer being robbed due to his Instagram posts. Till next time.